Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman school, Big Brando. Let's go. What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today let's talk about the All Style 1701 and the American Apparel 1701 because we got both right here. All right, so as you guys see, my last video where I talk about All Style 1701, All Style 1301 has been rebranded under the American Apparel line. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch that video. I think it was called like RIP. All Style or something like that. So what All Style did was they sent out an email saying, hey, look, the 1301 and the 1701 are our most popular models. They will now be rebranded under the American Apparel line. Also, they're gonna keep the same numbers, 1301, 1701. You guys know I use the All Style 1701, which is now the American Apparel 1701. So right when it was available, I placed the order. Wanted to show you guys something. This is the All Style 1701, this is a 2X t-shirt, and this is the American Apparel 1701. So it even says 1701 on the tag, American Apparel, this is a 2X. It's the same exact t-shirt. I thought it was gonna be different for whatever reason. I thought maybe it might feel different. It's the same exact t-shirt, just relabeled. That's all it is. These things are exactly the same. Price is a little crazy. For 2X, it's like $6 a blank, but that's just for the big sizes. 2X and 3X have a really big premium on top of that. I don't know if it's because it's more material. I don't know if it's because of takes longer to sew. I, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know why the price is so drastic because small to extra large is like three something, 350 or something like that, which is still pretty pricey because a few years ago I was buying the same 1701s for like 270. So obviously supply chain, inflation, all of that good stuff combined makes the price fluctuate a little bit. So if you're looking into getting some of these American Apparel 1701s, just know that the price is like 350 to 360 for black, small to extra large. And then 2X and 3X is like $6 and 650 or something like that. But if you were curious on the t-shirt, it's exactly the same. They fit the same, they look the same, feel the same, cut the same, same exact shirt, different tag. Another thing people were curious about because the all style t-shirt has a rip away tag, right? So they're like, oh, man is the tag still going to be rip away yes it is so you can rip this tag it's perforated and then you can press your own in exactly like the old 1701s or the all style t-shirt my biggest concern with these t-shirts was going to be did they feel and fit the same i wasn't sure if they're going to use a different body structure i wasn't sure if they're going to use a different cut I wasn't sure if they're going to use a different cotton in the past a lot of the american apparel stuff was either cotton poly blend or ring spun cotton and it had a different trendy cut and i didn't like that i'm glad that they kept the same one. I haven't tried out the 1301s yet, but these 1701s are cool. Also, when I placed the order, I ordered a lot of different sizes, 3X, 2X, a lot of extra large, large. What I noticed was some of them were still branded as all style and some of them were branded as American Apparel. So I would imagine for maybe the next few months, you're gonna be getting a mixture of a lot of different ones. Maybe some of them will be all style, some of them will be American Apparel. But like I said, same shirt, same feel, same everything different branding. And we did everything. We measured the t-shirts, both width, length, collar size, everything is exactly the same. The reason I'm not doing it on camera is because it's a black t-shirt on a black t-shirt and you can't see nothing when you lay them on top of each other. That's something that a lot of people always get mad about. I don't have any different color shirts at the moment to use. I just ordered black. You guys know I keep black in stock. And also, what I'm wearing right here is an extra large American Apparel 1701. This is one of them. Press this on the shirt. I'm wearing it in the video. This is an extra large American Apparel 1701. Same exact fit as the All Style 1701, which I'm completely happy about because you guys know I like the 1701. Not happy about the price, but so be it. That's basically for every blank t-shirt out there right now, prices are fluctuating like crazy. So all you gotta do is just charge your customer the extra. If you're used to charging your customer $3 for their blanks and you were getting them for like 250, you're gonna have to adjust your pricing and let your customer know that the cost of blank t-shirts went up. So t-shirt you used to pay 350 
four is now going to be four dollars or four fifty or whatever to make sure that you get your money to make sure you get your money back for the new pricing on these t-shirts do not eat the cost of the blank t-shirt in fear of losing your client you as the business owner have to figure out a way to explain it to your customer so everybody's aware there's so many people out there that are afraid of losing their client like oh man i felt like my prices were a little too high already now i'm going to raise the prices on them they're not going to shop with me just know that this blank t-shirt price hike is across the board everybody is dealing with it everybody in the t-shirt decorating industry is dealing with these same prices so if you feel you're going to lose your customer they're going to go to somebody else and that somebody else is going to charge them for this blank t-shirt so you might as well do it first what you have to do as a business owner is figure out a creative way of letting your customer know what the price is like now and if you have an open dialogue with your client it should be a no-brainer and it should be an easy call for you but if you go into it kind of timid and you're like well uh you know i used to charge you three dollars for the blank t-shirt but now the price has gone up to 375 so i have to charge you more they'll walk all over you so if you're scared about talking pricing with your client you need to work on that first work on your sales pitch and then work on your dialogue with your actual client be confident in your services be confident in your pricing and be confident in your sales pitch the client will always pick up on those small little notes if they feel like they're getting taken advantage of if they feel they could walk all over you if they feel they could get over on you it's in human nature to spot the prey and attack that's how haggling works that's how bartering works that's how any deal is done if you stand your ground and you're confident in what you're doing and what you're selling you establish your dominance early on in that sales pitch if you don't they'll walk all over you they'll give you the all oh, i'm gonna just go to somebody else i'm gonna do this you're gonna be scared to lose that customer then you're gonna fold to a new price because you don't want to lose that customer nah if the customer wants to walk let the customer walk majority of the time they're bluffing and if they're not bluffing so be it you don't want a client that's gonna nickel and dime you every single time that client's probably not even worth that headache so let them go let them be somebody else's headache you know what i mean so remember price change label change same exact t-shirt american apparel all style these are the 1701s if you're looking to get into these highly recommend it still the same fit still the same feel i'm going to continue to use these all of my stuff moving forward will be on these american apparel t-shirts i don't get paid by all style i don't get paid by american apparel wish i did because i talk about them enough i talk about the 1701 enough on this channel but they could care less about me if you got any questions make sure you leave it in the comments I know there's going to be a lot of people that watch this video and be like, hey, well, how do I order the American Apparel or All Style? Gildan owns All Style and American Apparel. Hit up Gildan, create an account. Chances are they probably won't let you create a direct account with them and they'll point you in the direction of a third party supplier like SNS or Mission Imprintables or somebody else. Take their advice, create an account with whoever they recommend, start ordering. Some people are saying Gildan won't let them create an account because they're not going to be ordering a thousand t-shirts. I don't know if that's the case, but it might be. Also, they might just be finding you a closer warehouse to them. So if SNS is closer to you than an actual Gildan warehouse, then they'll send you to SNS so you can get your t-shirts a lot quicker. That's all it is. They obviously want everybody to buy their products. So they're not turning you away. They're just looking for the nearest location that fits your needs. That's all it is. So if you're not ordering a thousand t-shirts, they say, hey, you know what? You should go over here to Alpha Broad or to one of these other third-party suppliers. Obviously, they want you to still buy Gildan products, All Style, American Apparel, Anvil, and whoever else they own. Take their advice. Create the account. Start ordering up. All right? Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on next one, man. Yep. Yeah.